amazing uh, the, the games we made. When I came in, I'll never forget when I met the team in the cafeteria this January, and you know I, I gave them their first full off-season calendar and summer calendar, and the eyes were wide. You know they, they, they couldn't believe how much was going to be required of them and how much work was going to be entailed to get this going in the right direction. But uh, the blessing for me is the way they've bought in. I've had zero pushback in the weight room, zero pushback in speed and agility training, zero pushback in the film. I mean, these guys, they've grown up their summers to get better at football, and I couldn't be more proud. I'm truly blessed to be here with this team and with this program. And always the strength of this Piedmont team year to year, regardless of the end of the year results, always been their line play, offense and defense line. Yes, Talk about those lines. Uh, you know, we, everyone knows Piedmont always grows in big. You know, they've always had size in the trenches, and uh, you know that's never been a problem. What I've been working on with these guys is building that strength with their flexibility, getting off the football. You know, one thing I've always been around with linemen that get off the football, and I wanted to bring that here to Piedmont, and the guys have bought into the, to the speed and agility. We've done a lot of footwork. We've done a lot of flexibility work. And now these big old boys, they're getting off the ball, and that's just going to help us out with our offense without question. And talk about the skilled players on the offensive side, your quarterback situation. Your running back Connor Purser leading the way, and your wide receivers. I tell you what, you know, we have a, we still have a two-horse race at quarterback. You know, Clint Danielson and, and Henry Saunders, they're battling it out, and I'll know more once we uh, strap it up versus Concord next weekend who, who's going to be the guy there. In the backfield, you know, we're blessed with, with Connor Purser, you know, three-year starter. He's a workhorse, high-character kid. You know, everything he does is full speed. He's a leader on and off the field. Uh, you know, very, very lucky to have him. Also, we have Troy Hagen back there running dive back as well. He's also a veteran. You know, our S backs or our speed backs, we got some young guys that can fly. You know, we got Evan Sawyer, you know, we, we got Caleb Balkan back there. And we're going to even throw Brooks in there at S as well. You know, I want, you know, I'm about getting our speed guys to football, so we're going to do that. A receiver, Brooks plays again. Brooks is going to play offense. You know, Brooks hasn't played offense in his whole career. He's been a one trick pony. And when I got over here and saw his athleticism and what he can do, he's going to play both sides of the football. He's got to. So he'll play receiver as well. You know, we got a, we got a transfer in from Porter Ridge. Great receiver, Everett McLaughlin. He's doing amazing out there. You know, Matt Lathan's doing a great job. We got Austin Holton returning senior. You know, we got a couple of basketball guys out. I hit the basketball kids hard. But I got Kwame McClendon, Jaden in Denmark. You know, two six foot four guys. They can go up and get it. So you know, we're not hurting there. The big process, of course, was teaching these guys the passing game. They haven't really passed it much for the past four years. So that's been a big point of emphasis. You know, we did a lot of seven on sevens. You know, to kind of work on that. So it's a continuing process. But they're they're picking it up pretty well. Players, all the quarterbacks bought into that, obviously. Oh, no, like absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And now on, on the defensive side, your linebackers and defensive backs. Yeah, again, on, on defense, you know, our strength is going to be up front with our D-line. You know, you got the young bull, Ty Nicholas, coming back. He's, he's been playing that spot. You, know, you got Eli Ben in there. You got Colby in there, Aldo Rodriguez. And we got, we got a lot of depth at D-line, so we're going to rotate a lot of guys. And then the other blessing is, you know, we have the, you know, the state championship wrestling coach coaching our D-line. You know, when I got over here, I knew immediately I needed to get Coach Belt with those guys because he teaches hand placement, leverage, running your feet. So I'm super blessed with Coach Belt. Then in our linebackers, you know, we got John Britt, Billy Ferrero, Harrison Davis back there in the mix. Um, they're flying around. Coach Bagnone's doing a good job with them. In the secondary, obviously we got Brooks back there playing in the secondary, Evan and Caleb. You're going to hear a lot of the same names because we're not going to toot platoon at Piedmont. We can't. You know, our best guy is going to be on the football field, offensive, defense, and, and, and then some of our special teams. We just we have no choice. we got to get our best guys on the field. And that's, that's a big difference as well. Absolutely. Forward. That's why we're conditioning as hard as we are. I mean, we've been preaching it all spring, all summer. We've got to be in shape. And so, you know, we're, we're working on that heavy, as you saw today. Special teams play. Who are you looking at as here? Yeah. Right now, uh, the, the the returning guy he had a, a, you know a little bit of experience with Ethan Helms. He's a you know he's a rising junior, and then uh, Moses Cabrera. He, uh, again, Moses and Ethan are the two main guys, but Ethan's probably the front runner right now as far as kickoffs, punts, and field goals. And coach, um, in terms of your offensive philosophy for those of the folks that are not familiar with you and this is your first year head coaching, what do what Piedmont fans can look forward to in seeing this offense um, and defense on the field in terms of your philosophy? Well, we're going to be up-tempo. We're going to spread people out. 
you know, and, and we're going to take what the defense gives us. You know, we're not going to, you know, bang our head in the wall and do something over and over and over that doesn't work. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to see what the defense is going to take away, and then we'll respond with what they're not taking away. That's how I've always been. That's how I've been coached by my previous coaches. And so that's what we're going to do. So we're a multiple offense. Um, I'm not going to just, you know, single us down that we do one thing. We're going to do several things based off what the defense is going to do against us. The biggest thing uh, that, that I'm looking for is the continuing building of the process. You know, again, I want to see these guys each day, you know, more focused, practicing harder, running harder, watching film harder, lifting harder. You know, that's the big thing for me with the brand new program is are we getting better each day? You know, we tell the kids all the time we can't go backwards. And it's, it's a long process when you're rebuilding something. But as long as they see results, they trust in it. And again, I, I know that's coming. They've seen the results. You know, the kids have bought in, and I'm just excited to see them actually hit somebody else.